Hi everyone and welcome back to Frugal Radio. I mentioned in my last video when uh, we were talking about decoding HFDL signals that I'd show you how to do it using web SDRs. So you would use a web SDR if you don't have your own HF antenna set up or an appropriate software defined radio. So we'll go inside, we're gonna jump right onto the computer and I'll show you how to decode using PC HFDL even without any hardware. Let's go. Now, if you're not sure what web SDRs are or how to use them, then do check out episode two of the 2020 SDR guide linked above and uh, on, on YouTube there. So you can click on that and you'll be able to learn how to get access to web SDRs from across the world that will allow you to monitor a whole range of signals, including HF band, which we'll be monitoring today. Today, we're actually gonna use the Twent uh, web SDR. So we're just gonna type that in on DuckDuckGo here and that will take us right to the correct page where we get presented with the display here, the waterfall display showing the different range of frequencies and what I want to do now is actually tune this in to an active HFDL frequency. So there will be several HFDL frequencies in use. I'm going to start by going to 10081 kilohertz. So this should be the uh, transmitter and receiving station that is set up in Shannon, Ireland, not too far from where I used to live. So we'll just zoom in on the waterfall here so we can get a clear picture of the signals that are coming and going. We can see here it's already uh, listed as HFDL uh, in San Francisco and in Ireland. So because this receiver is in the Netherlands, it will be the uh, Ireland one that we'll be receiving today. So we'll resize that. Now, you can hear the audio coming through as I'm speaking. That's not what we want. We need to direct the audio to our virtual cable. So for this demonstration, all we're gonna do is go over here and change the output audio from the entire computer from speakers to cable input. So what that's gonna do, it's now gonna route all the audio to my virtual cable. Now that will be all the audio coming from the computer, not just coming from the browser. So um, yeah, if there's any extra sounds coming through, it could lead to decoding errors. Next, I start PCHFDL. I like to drag it up into the corner here, and I like to have the squitters open so that I can see the data as it populates. And then we can use this to see all the various information that's going to be appearing on the different flights. So there's no hardware, no software defined radio actually connected to this PC right now. All the data that is coming in is purely being received by a software defined radio uh, in, at a university in the Netherlands. Now from that, here is the data that's actually coming in. So you can see messages coming uh, from different aircraft. So which one is this? We don't know the flight ID of that one. So AIC, I think that's Air India. And uh, 195, the call signs are listed here as I showed you before. We can see actual messages, ACARS messages that are uh, being sent and received by aircraft and by the ground stations. And you can see that there are already uh, four aircraft there. I'm just gonna turn on Google Earth as well because sometimes it's nice to uh, watch the, the Google Earth aircraft being plotted. So we'll load up Google Earth. Actually, I have it down here. So we're going to click on Google Earth. We're going to go to File, Open, and oh, it looks like I don't have the ground station. I just had to hit F5 to refresh it there. So the aircraft file, click on Open, and we'll start to soon see uh, the aircraft that are being logged here. So right away we're monitoring Ireland ground station and we can see an aircraft over Russia. So SU is Aeroflot. So this Aeroflot aircraft, uh, we can zoom in a little bit closer to it just by doing a double click. So it's flying over, it looks like Russia right now, uh, where it is. Of course, uh, Google Earth doesn't show me the political uh, boundaries, but it looks like it's uh, Central Russia. AIC, so I said I thought that was Air India, and it looks like it uh, it could well be. So we'll actually verify these as well, uh, just by going over to Flight Radar 24. So that's always a good site to use to check these things. So AIC 95 or 195, it was 195, wasn't it? So we'll type that in. That's routing from Delhi to Moscow. 
there we are. So we can actually see on Flight Radar 24 that it's flying just over the top. I think that's still in Kazakhstan there, uh, just about to enter Russia. And uh, that's where it's plotted here on Google Earth as well. So let's go back to PCHFTL. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can see lots of flights that have been added here now. So let me go over and maybe we can refresh this. So we'll open Aircraft Camel again and say yes, reload the file. And we'll see that there's uh, more files or more uh, aircraft now that have been loaded in, and we can zoom in and see where they are. So this one is uh, is more over northern Europe and uh, over the Baltic region there. So that's interesting to see. Uh, we have another Aeroflot AT. I'm not sure who AT is, but they're over Spain right now. So AT781 Sierra. Okay, we don't need to zoom in any closer. So AT781 Sierra. I'm just going to type that in here. Oh. AT781. Okay. And that's an Air Maroc flight from Paris to Rabat. So it's on its way south into Morocco, I guess. And uh, yeah. Um, so that's just a little overview. You can see how many aircraft are already showing up. So, I mean, this is a crazy amount of aircraft already. The latitudes and longitudes are displayed. And you can see that the ground station is indeed Shannon in Ireland. And the flights just keep getting listed. There's just more and more of them coming in. Uh, if you scroll through, you'll get to see perhaps some uh, like weather reports and ATIS data, position reports, route requests, those kind of things. So uh, it's just jumping around a bit. Maybe if I mute this, we'll actually get more of a chance to look at it. So I'm just going to mute the audio. And we can see, uh, spend some time reading the messages that have actually come in. A common one that you do see is a latitude and longitude of 180. So I think there's something misconfigured on the aircraft, or it's actually not set up to pass its uh, latitude and longitude via HFDL. You may still see other messages from the flight, but uh, you're not going to get a position report. So that's an incorrect position report. And you do see that um, pretty much in every HFDL monitoring session. So uh, down here, let's have a look and see so here's an ACARS message and I have no idea what that message is saying because it hasn't been decoded here for us let's see if we can find any other messages uh, so here we go this looks like a weather report so Moscow and um, it's probably that's another airport and it's giving us the information here no significant weather cav ok and the Q&H uh, 1022 for the altimeter setting that's of course in uh, and not in the mercury inches like you would get in North America, but it's the European standard and uh, and so on. Okay, so anyway, that is how to uh, to check out the information coming from PCH FDL and how to decode it. We'll unmute this again and we'll let more aircraft start uh, communicating back with PCH FDL. We can also see here that we now have a full list of um, ground station frequencies. And that's just from having it uh, being monitored. So this is a great way to figure out what ground stations are active and which frequencies they are using. And then you can, if you have your own SDR hardware, tune in and see what you can pick up if you want to try and do some long distance DX or something. So, um, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm just going to reload. So we're just going to go to open, reload the aircraft KML file. And let's have a look at some more of these aircraft. So I'm just going to manually uh, zoom in and out here. So we can see aircraft right over India talking to the uh, ground station in Ireland. And of course, if we switch to another ground station, we'll start picking up aircraft from other regions. Uh, so here's an aircraft over the Mediterranean, uh, and another one near the Black Sea. And interestingly, none out over the Atlantic uh, so far on the European, uh, on the Ireland frequency, so it's getting good propagation to the east rather than to the west today. Uh, but you can see aircraft all over here. So yeah, that's uh, how to use the web SDR for PCHFTL and decoding the signals uh, without actually needing to purchase or own your own hardware. I hope that's been helpful and I hope that you have uh, enjoyed finding out how to use 
the HFDL with a web SDR. If you want to know more about PCHFDL and how to use it, then check out my previous video, link above there, and you can click on that to just find out how to use PCHFDL by yourself with your own hardware. Okay, that's it for now. Just a short video, and uh, I want to say keep safe, and we'll see you next time. This is Frugal Radio, out. <laughs>